Blessings, dear soul travelers, and welcome back to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Melissa here with you once again today. All right, we're going to get our reading today from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards and see what is going on for today's reading. So then after that, we'll get a Celtic cross spread with our Crystal Visions Tarot. After that, we will clarify with the vice versa tarot and after that we will get some messages of advice moving forward from the witch's kitchen tarot cards and stick around for the end because of course we are going to get some lovers oracle cards to see what is going on for today in love beautiful let us thank our ancestors way showers and guides those higher powers that bring the wisdom through that help us to make those decisions that are most important. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. And let us tap in and see what the witch's wisdom has for us today, shall we? All right, how are we feeling out there? Have you checked out your reading if you are an heir? Or fire sign I do have those readings out today interesting Wow looks like we're definitely getting ourselves on the map looking into our foundations as well as our abundance I love that how many of us are really tapping into that energy today the spring energy of all those seeds that we're planting and how many of us have that vision of that harvest coming to fruition for us. All right, don't forget to hit the like button as you're coming in, subscribe and comment below and let me know how these readings are resonating for you. Let us see what the witch's wisdom has for the collective for today. Yes, beautiful. Oh, and by the way, I will have the earth and the um, sorry, water and earth signs. I apologize that I haven't put all those out yet. Busy, busy week here for me. It's always busy, but in any case, we've had some interesting surgeries lately. Uh, me particularly, I have been uh, working more on the upper part of the body lately, particularly in the head. Yeah, so I always look at what's going on in my day, you know, just like you can look at different animals and stuff like that. Like I look at what room am I in and, you know, like you can look at angel numbers, right? Well, what room am I in and what does that number represent? And then what kind of cases am I doing in that room? Everything that you see in life is like a sign, it's like a metaphor for, you know, things that are going on around you. and. And it helps you to give you clues as to things to be aware of. You know what I mean? All right, so moving on. Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards. Let us see the Witch's Wisdom for our collective today. Our wonderful collective soul tribe out there. Woo! That was on the ground here. Let's see what this is. Balance, absolutely. Maybe you're a little bit off balance today. We were just seeing those cards of abundance and foundation, homeland, you know what I mean? So getting ourselves grounded and planted, you know, the seeds planted, bringing out of that darkness. This is like that alchemical energy and Maybon. You know, we're coming into all of this spring energy where everything has that ability to grow and become so much more. But what's going to be required is balance in some area of our lives today. So let's take a look real quick at the energy in the book for this card and we will have a spell or an incantation that we may speak today to help us to bring more of this balance into place if we will all right so this card says at this time of acknowledgement of the fruit harvest you are reminded that you two are a part of nature therefore it is harvest time for you as well what seeds did you plant in your life this year this is the time right now to be very very aware of those seeds that you're planting to balance it all out to use all of your tools wisely as you are the gardener we spoke of this earlier and moving through the green man store right all right, if you've been following my readings, you know that this is a great time for you. If you're resonating with this, hit that like button because this is all about those seeds that you are planting this year in your life. 
Have they come to fruition? What do you need to bring in or release in order to move forward? So if you've been planting these seeds for a while, but yet nothing is still coming to harvest for you, what is it that you need to work on in order you know to bring in or release it says in order to move forward maybon asked you to reach into your very own storehouse to seek the balance within if you are feeling restless emotional or out of sorts then call upon maban to restore the balance in your life Work with all elements in ritual and magic in equal measure, just like I was talking about, and honor each equally on your altar for a time until you find a healthy balance in all things. So this is something that represents air, something that represents fire. That could be a candle. Um, air can be like burning incense water okay pretty basic right there six six that is going to bring this balance today and earth that can be soil that can be sand you know something of the earth you know what i mean so the and then think about each one of these aspects of the elements of being and why they are so important to bring into balance not only within nature but within yourself right because without that balance in nature, we wouldn't see that beauty within this world. There wouldn't be that fruition, that you know, the harvest and things of that nature. So we have to follow the laws of nature to be able to see the fruits of our labor come to pass. All right. So the balance is very important in your seeds that you're planting at this time. Embrace any aspects of the self which are devoid of light and eliminate only that which does not serve you with gratitude and lessons learned. Once balance is achieved, rest and enjoy the fruits of your personal harvest. So the witch's foresight says reflect upon the past. Upset or unhappiness is caused by an imbalance in your life. Eliminate anything or anyone who upsets the equilibrium. Embrace and get to fully know your shadow side. Hold on to only the lessons from past hurts. Seize the fruits of your labor. So here is your incantation today that you may say, Maban gives us dark and light. Candles lit, one black, one white. Important to shine out far and wide and to honor our shadow side. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. So when it talked about that black and white candle, this definitely is something that you can do at dusk. This will help to burn out all that imbalance and negativity, darkness in your life. The white is to help bring in the light and all of that healing and renewal energy that's going to help you to bring all of that harvest and birth rebirth back into your life and to truly have the balance that we see here at the top of my deck today all right justice let us see what is this balance or imbalance that we may be experiencing today what do we need to know as a collective about maban and the balance i need to look at maban a little bit more i have a feeling this is a summer energy so this is really, you know, renewing your energy and your power, right? And understanding who you truly are, what you truly want, moving forward in this time space, right? This is all about your experience, but all about also following within those laws of nature. King of Pentacles, yes, all about the growth. And this is you seated in that king that power that crown on your head but not only that the pentacles all right that's all about having that balance in your life right because we know the queen of pentacles is all about having that stability the beautiful home and having everything that you need and definitely the king should be able to provide that and that is exactly what that energy represents you may be at the beginning of something new but it is definitely something that is going to grow and become even bigger 
longer if you stick with it because you may just be it again the beginning with the page now but what's crossing you is the king of pentacles that's awesome energy that means that whatever you're doing no matter how small those seeds that you were planting right the energy behind them is really what is going to bring through all of that power today all right, Five of Swords energy in our foundation. So this is energy that we may be healing from, walking away from people that have deceived us, that have caused nothing but mental manipulation. But also this causes hurt because it's confusion. We don't know what to believe. And obviously when we see somebody walking away like this, those are the actions that we want to understand and know about somebody today that perhaps was not honoring their title and role as the emperor right was not helping you to bring balance in this situation so maybe you had to have this new start with this page of pentacles energy understanding your worth right but having to start over so it's always you know a little bit of a setback if you will there was something that was being hidden from you right? All this mental manipulation, again, was probably causing you a lot of confusion. And you normally are able to pick up on things pretty well and, you know, be a pretty good judge of character of people. But this person was pretty deceptive, whoever this was, it feels like that you were dealing with that was bringing this imbalance. And I feel like this is the person that we're needing to cut out today. Page of Swords, yeah, I see you getting all the information that you need to make that decision that you need to make to be clear and to cut out what you need to, to be sure in your mind because that is all about mind energy. Yes, this is about loving yourself or a new start in love. Either way, you know, it may be small, but at least it's something that you can trust in and you know that you can build upon because I mean, you know that nobody is deceiving you behind it or you're at least not dealing with some past energy that left you feeling that way is what I'm seeing. Again, with this five of swords energy, it's like not forgetting, you know, the, the lesson that you've learned of those people that maybe smiled in your face, but behind the scenes, they were actually stabbing you in the back. What's this page of pentacles energy for balance? Wow. Ace of Wands energy here. Definitely somebody trying to exert their authority, move out on a new path today, understanding their worth, holding their wand high. Maybe that's all they've got, but you know what? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, meaning that spirit is going to ensure that your energy is going to be empowered by making this choice, honoring your value and your worth, and so much more is going to come behind it with that King of Pentacles energy crossing you on the bottom of the deck for our Crystal Visions Tarot. Yes, we definitely had to put an end to this situation. You know who you are. You know how beautiful you are. You don't deserve to be treated like this. Look here, even how beautiful she is. How could somebody do that, right? Somebody's so wonderful and so beautiful, right? So you, re you realized your value and your worth. You realized that your happiness wasn't going to come from this situation. Emperor in reverse in the past. Yep. Whenever you decided to put an end to this situation, you were able to step out on a new path of ever more abundance. This Nine of Pentacles energy is talking about you knowing your value and your worth, and it shows because everybody can see it. All right. This is you doing well in those all of those areas of your life, you know, talking about Maban and with that balance of all of the elements. When you are balanced in all of your elements, you do feel more like this energy. And this is the prelude to the Queen of Pentacles energy. And we've already seen the King of Pentacles energy. This is all about your worth, your stability, your balance and wands are all about that balance too. Ace of Wands particularly is spirit is going to ensure 
that you make it through. And not only that, but you're going to be even more abundant. All right. Hi, priestess. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this reading today and you're ready to resonate with this higher energy because look, whatever was being hidden from you was also keeping you from all of that growth and abundance. Look at that watermelon there, the harvest, the seed. Somebody was keeping something from you, maybe money, especially because this is the king of pentacles in reverse, right? So this is something that you may have just learned about or you are going to learn about with this page of swords energy coming out in the future because that is all about research spying learning about something and maybe you are learning about some money or something of that nature that somebody was keeping from you right and yeah they were feeling good they were stable everything was good but they had their back turned to you and they weren't sharing the abundance with you they weren't taking care of you the way that they should have been what is this page of swords energy for the future wow yeah you see exactly where this is going to lead if you continue to go in this direction i think if you're resonating with this reading you know exactly who this ten of swords energy is today on the other side there's somebody watching, right? But I feel like this is after the fact. This person has already been left for dead. And I feel like that you know that whoever you are dealing with today in this situation that's thrown you off your balance, that continues, it seems like, to stab you in the back. And again, you know, here we are again with that stabbing in the back energy, right? Stabbing in the back. Ten of Swords. This is the ultimate betrayal. Maybe now we've only, you know, experienced the five of swords betrayal, just a lot of, you know, frustration because we know that somebody is not com being completely honest with us. But if we continue in this energy, this uh, uh, swords energy here, page of swords, we're seeing, we're going to be, we're being shown that this is where things are going to end up. So you know what you need to cut out today is what I'm feeling with a now the high priestess in reverse you're seeing exactly what you need to see that there is no growth with this situation and you need to perhaps potentially go ahead and get out as quickly as possible so that you don't get caught up in this dark energy is what i was feeling it's kind of like you're at that point where it could go either way and you really need to make that decision today whichever way you're going to decide to go with this all right let's see what's coming out for the witch's kitchen for <laughs> our advice moving forward it's blowing my cards everywhere all right this is very tough energy but i do see you being strong and standing in your power i do see you having this foresight with the high priestess coming out so much today that you understand where this is going to potentially lead if you keep going in the direction you're going with this diversity and turmeric yeah maybe there's just too many differences between you and this person you know what i mean it's like you want to plant watermelon seeds they want to plant um poppy seeds <laughs> anyway you know what i'm saying it's just like you're on a different page you're not really going to have the garden that you really want together because you have different ideas about what it is that you want to do is what i'm seeing here what else is coming out today for this balance maybe you know that whole saying that they say agreeing to disagree kind of thing is what i saw with that diversity mustard seed and faith have faith that spirit is helping you today to bring this balance and again this card with maban is talking about something or someone that needs to be cut out so have faith and whatever it is that you know that you need to cut out, that you know that you're going to see even more growth in your garden. Yes, if you're ready for that today, collective, hit that like button. And thank you so much for subscribing so you don't miss any of the videos. Look for the water and earth videos that are going to be out within the next 24 hours. And thank you so much for all of your support coming out for the lover's oracle today let us see what that energy is for us give us an energy for the lover's oracle please spirit wow that was quick all right and for this interesting secret admirer someone has 
deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Whoa, what's going on here? So maybe have faith that there is something more awesome waiting for you, right? Something much different from what you've been dealing with, perhaps. Hmm, interesting. I saw this even perhaps being a different ethnicity. This is Middle Eastern or, um, uh, sorry, Eastern Indian, if you will, or like Hindu or something like that with the turmeric. But in any case, this is like have faith that someone new can always, there's always life after death, if you will, with that Ten of Swords energy, all right? But save yourself from having to go through that death, if you will. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this reading today. I hope that you enjoyed it and got something from it. And thank you so much for all your support. I will see you again for another reading. Blessings and bye for now.